What is up guys, today is February 16th, 2015, and um, first of all, happy President's Day to everyone, and uh, from two days ago, happy Valentine's Day. Um, if you guys uh, do have a reason to, to to make Valentine's Day a big thing, then I hope you guys all had a great Valentine's Day, um, someone special to share it with, um, and um, also, if you guys hear any background noise, if you guys hear any uh, talking, my dad's got the television on right now. Uh, my door's closed, but I'm not sure if the camera's microphone might be still picking that up. So I, I apologize if there, there's any uh, slight background noise that might bother some of you. Um, so um, I'm just going to be making a floor system test 28 for you guys. Um, this is going to be a request. Someone requested that I use my EST Genesis in this test. Now I, I know I just used this uh, a few tests ago in uh, when I was testing, I just tested this on the 4004 a few weeks ago before it uh, before I sold it. Um, but um, since someone is asking me to do it on the MS2 I thought I'd mix it up a bit and I'll go ahead and de uh, demonstrate walk test uh, at the very end of the video for you guys. So I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. I'm gonna try not to ramble too much um, I'm just going to be, um, pulling one of those, um, again, the pull stations are the same as the last test, just two MBG-12 LOs, I'll be, pu I'll be pulling one of those, uh, resetting the system, then putting it onto walk test, showing you guys how that works, so, let me quickly get on some hearing protection here, obviously, um, the Genesis, uh, it's got a, a built-in, uh, code 3 option, which is the only option, so it only does code 3, so, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the camera down, get some human protection on. Uh, for those of you who have never heard an EST Genesis horn in real life, they are painfully loud. Um, so I'd advise you, if you're going to test this alarm, to put on hearing protection. If you're going to test it real close um, to your body, I'd recommend definitely putting hearing protection on to protect your ears. Um, because... Uh, it's a very loud horn. Very loud. So, let's go ahead and do this. Get back on my knees here. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, pull one of these. I hate this panel so much. <laughs> Seriously, those buttons are really getting to me. So, um, so obviously we don't have selective silence um, because uh, this panel does does not have EST sync. Now, this is a feature that I think would be if uh, like Firelight could add an EST sync to uh, their MS2 and MS4. I think that'd be a great idea since uh, it's already got WeLock System Sensor and Gentex sync. Um, EST is another popular brand of alarm, so why not add EST sync? Um, I think that'd be a great idea. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, get my key here. Quickly reset the, uh, MBG-12 LO. Then I'll go ahead and de demonstrate walk test for you guys. I'm just gonna set the camera down for a minute while I reset this. Um, yeah. quick enough okay so now we have to come back to the panel and reset obviously I acknowledge the uh, troubles wow that actually worked well okay um, so uh, to put the to put a firelight MS2 onto walk test it's pretty self-explanatory um, the walk test button is to the right of the reset button. Um, compared to most panels where you have to go into the dip switches or something to put them on uh, onto walk test, uh, the MS2 definitely makes the walk test procedure very simple. So to put the panel onto walk test, just hold the walk test button for five seconds, I believe. Then let go of it. And as you guys can see, the system trouble 
and the walk test uh, LEDs will flash simultaneously, simultaneously at a uh, so somewhat rapid rate to tell you that the panel has been put into walk test. At this point, you can go to your uh, your activation devices, your initiating devices, rather, and uh, open them up. I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to activate the switch for a, a minute. That's how walk test works. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of the uh, MBG-12s. Actually, let's do the second one since it's easier to get to. Okay. Then now I have the pulsation opened up, so I'm just going to activate the switch. On, off. Okay, that did a round of code three. And uh, now the panel will show that zone two, some device on zone two has been activated. So the fire alarm LED for zone two will uh, do that flash, flash thing to tell you that you've already checked zone two. And then uh, I could do the same thing to zone one, but I don't feel like it. Um, that's basically the feature of, of walk test. I don't even think too many technicians use walk test um, because there's a lot of downsides to it. Um, so to take the panel out of walk test, it's as easy as uh, just resetting the panel. Okay, there you guys go. That was uh, the walk test feature on the Firelight MS2 and a, uh, and a basic test, too, of the system. So there you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and just, you know, I'm going to be trying to make these tests more often now. Um, because I've, I've got a few more tests to do with this panel before I, I would like to put it back up for sale on eBay. So, um... There you guys go for that test. That'll be it.